Hello, we don't usually do a video just for Instagram, but this morning I, I am. And I think I'll probably put it on YouTube as well, because as indicated yesterday, we're not using Facebook this week, pending an investigation as to where a malicious um, post came from that set off a stream of criticism of the work we do here with the horses particularly, and also of J Jasper. That is going well at the moment, but it's given us time to think. And I think it's very fair that I share our thoughts with you at this stage. You will see yesterday that we admitted another three donkeys and we are just, we have donkeys everywhere, donkeys and horses everywhere. And people say to me, well, what are you going to do? You know, you can't keep all these donkeys forever. Well, of course we won't because a lot of them do pass away. We know that. And we're going to have to look at crematorium facilities, but we've also got to think very carefully about the future. And this is our thinking at the moment. Um, if, if you look at the UK, Europe, perhaps even some of the states in, in America, a hundred years ago, working animals were used regularly. And then as the need for working animals diminished, alternatives had to be found uh, as to what to do with those animals. And I think there's a very good example in the UK of where the donkey sanctuary came into being and now has several farms and I think over 8,000 donkeys and they have to be applauded for what they do. We here must start discussions with the government. Now, the government are not going to give us money. And let's be honest about this. If you look at the RSPCA in England, the biggest animal charity, they don't get money off the British government. How on earth is the government going to give us money when they still have huge problems with people? And I understand that. We've had a lot of support and assistance from the government in terms of vaccinating all our equines against rabies. And for that, we are extremely grateful. What I hope will happen is that we do continue to grow. We are able to have more land. We're in a good position to apply for grants because we are registered as a charity in the United Kingdom. And that the government here in Morocco becomes proud of its history because we can tell the story of the working animals. Morocco wouldn't be the country it is today if it hadn't been for their working animals. And when times change and times are changing, motorised machinery is being used far more now than working animals those animals are very important and they should be given somewhere to go in their retirement and also they should be applauded for what they have done for Morocco and that's what we intend to do. I can't say often enough that we wouldn't be here as we are today if it wasn't for the support we get from donors all over the world, and I never come on here begging for money, but the response has been tremendous. And in the future, I want people to feel part of what they are doing for Morocco as well, so they become part of the history of Morocco. And those of you that have been here on holiday, who visited us, you will be forever in our hearts with us, uh, and you will be helping us do something incredibly valuable for the country itself and for the people, because at the end of the day, people matter. I'll get back to you with more news as we proceed. We've got an important meeting here tomorrow with an expert. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. And a little later today, I'll post and give you a little video about our newcomers that arrived yesterday. So as I say, bye for now.